Welcome back to the Bahamas tonight. Thank you so much for staying with us. The Minister of Foreign Affairs addressing the 50th regular session of the General Assembly of the Organization of American States today. Vern Curry has more on the minister's contribution to the high level meeting. The post COVID-19 recovery process and resilience building to combat climate change among the issues topping the agenda at the 50th regular session of the General Assembly of the Organization of American States in Washington Monday. Foreign Affairs Minister the Honorable Darren Henfield was among those addressing the forum. He cited some of the challenges impacting small developing countries like the Bahamas. We cannot ignore the negative and unfortunate impact of the use of per capita GDP GNP as a measurement of wealth, as this matrix prohibits small progressive yet developing states like the Bahamas from obtaining official aid and loans on a concessional basis. Moreover, we cannot ignore the actions taken by your countries regarding correspondent and international banking. Understandably, your efforts are intended to regulate financial activity within your countries, but they invariably endanger correspondent banking and international banking regimes in small countries such as ours. Minister Henfield invited the OAS to partner with the Bahamas as it seeks to build resilient communities in order to break the cycle of destruction and recovery in the wake of events like Hurricane Dorian. It is imperative that we build resilience in our economy, in our infrastructure, and in our ability to recover from catastrophic events. COVID-19 has greatly impacted each of us. No country has been spared, although some of us have fared better than others. I take this opportunity to thank PAHO for the work it has done in assisting us during this difficult time. The Foreign Affairs Minister detailed measures implemented by the government to curb community spread of the highly contagious COVID-19 virus. I ask you to consider our predicament as a small island developing state and to look at ways and means that you might be able to further assist our recovery from hurricanes like Dorian, establish parity in the distribution of medicines and other accoutrements in response to COVID-19, achieve more consultation in determining our banking status and to build resilience in our infrastructure and economy. We welcome and fully appreciate your participation. 